Good morning, Codger Biker here. Well, let's talk about mud flaps. Well, you say what you like about KTM, but they know a thing or two about dirt. And uh, one of the th things that keeps this bike clean, even in the dirtiest of conditions, is they incorporate a mud flap there to protect the rear shock. You can see it's very clean in there and dirty in here. So I'm going to try something similar on my CB500X, which is a very dirty bike. It chucks a lot of dirt over itself. Huggers don't seem to be as effective. So Pyramid Plastics have brought out a... Uh, a solution maybe bought it myself let's see how it goes well there is a rear cowl available for this bike I think by pyramid but um, I thought rather than fit that because it just seems to throw the mud over the top of it and then onto the shock they also offer a shock guard which is kind of basically just a mud flap I don't know how good that will be but I'm giving it a try. Bought it with my own money as usual. So I'm beholden to no one. I'll show you how I fitted it and then uh, I guess in a future vlog I'll tell you if there's anything left of it because I suspect it might wear away very quickly. But anyway, here's how that went. So this is what we've got. The Pyramid CB500X 2022 onwards model. 811005 shock shield and it's basically a good old-fashioned mud flap of course that means you've got to keep the passenger foot bags hmm well I was actually going to delete those instructions are with it but you do you can see the instructions on their website with a rather bizarre drawing here where it's all cut away but uh, I suppose it's just to make the point where you fit the nuts and bolts I've used quite a lot of pyramid plastic stuff over the years. Uh, fender extenders, guards, huge screens, which I think they make. So I think they also sponsor 44 teeth, don't they? So they're on the up and they're also in Lincolnshire, which I have links to. As I say, I bought this myself, but nothing to do with this company. Let's have a look. So there's your flap. Now, Unlike the KTM one, that's very soft. KTM one, quite rigid. Oh, it smells of chemicals. It smells of a printers I used to work at many years ago. Okay, so there's a bar that fits behind the passenger foot pegs. This bolts to the bar. That's it. How hard can it be? Blimey. That's a very strong chemical smell of the rubber. Oops, some washers. Let's have a look. So, smaller nut, washer, bolt, bent towards us. Got real plastic rubber. God, real chemical smell. Okay, so that particularly want to spray lubricant in there, so uh, some brake cleaner. Try that. Go and get it into the hole. Tight angle. Try a bit on that. I don't know if you can see it, it's slightly angled. Difficult to get started, but you can do it with your fingers. That's gone in, okay. You're looking at it, I think you can delete those anyway and still leave these threaded holes in there. They've got a bit of paint in there as well, so it makes them a little bit tighter than necessary. Let's very gently line it up with a screwdriver. I don't want to damage the threads. They like a lot of things that are just perfectly shaped. High maintenance, that's gone in there, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, the, the bolts do fit. I thought they might just bottom out on, the, on these bolts here, but they seem to go in. That's quite tight. There's no torque spec on it, so I'm not going to overdo it because I don't know how strong this is, and uh, I have thread locked it, so hopefully that should do. A bit floppy. Just think that could have been a bit stiffer, or even had some way of fixing it back, but there's no obvious way of fixing it back. That seems to be it. Oh well, a bit sceptical myself, but we'll see. Cars used to have mud flaps like that, didn't they? So, I don't know if that is going to be of any use to anybody at all. I don't know if I could recommend it, but time will tell. I did try and film it. I have a camera on the mud flap at the moment. But it's on, it was a quick job and uh, it can't do any harm other than to my bank account. Well, it's kept the dirt off the shock and uh, I noticed on the illustrations it shows a curve in the flap and it's naturally developing a curve, probably from bouncing off that. It's not got any thinner yet but uh, Probably will in time. On that note, road close here. Oh dear. Codge Biker is out.